probably bad RPG ideas. Abruptly decide that rather than playing D&D, you're now playing X for some godforsaken reason. Is it ethical to slap someone for waking you up really early for no reason? Sir, it is unethical to not slap someone for waking you up early for no reason. Thank you, Ethics Stom. You know, worried that squirrels were eating all the bird seeds, so we set up a camera. I don't think that's a squirrel. No, you can't seduce the fungus. Me, a tired DM. But I wanna... Perceive your Asian eagle owl chicks. The laundry is alive and it is angry. Oh, my God. This is why you clean the lint tray regularly. Gender? I hardly know her. <laughs> is, this, is this anything? The Barbie movie reminded me how about when I was little, my parents were upset that I kept making my Barbie dolls kiss. So they bought me a Ken doll. The next day, they found me having a funeral for poor Ken of the garden. He had died of tuberculosis. All the Barbies were an attendee and I buried him under our rose bush. The Barbies were too poor to afford a headstone. It was 1875. So I didn't mark where the grave was and I never could find him again. He's probably still there. Gotta admit, a little terrified. My therapist doesn't like that I keep referring to my transition as my villain arc. Well then what's the point? I feel like if you scream at an animal loud enough, it would simply explode. You know, I'm sure there is a science behind that based on, like, sound having some force behind it. Well, maybe. Probably. I don't know. Autistic people are so weird and emotionless. Cut to me feeling bad after impulsively smacking a bug. Oh my god, same. The freestanding lamb, $1,400. Only $1,400 to scare the shit out of yourself every single night of your life. That thing would move around during the night. Like, oh shit, where did the ball fondler go? Probably out to fondle, well, you know. Do not shove your card violently deep into the chip reader. Show some compassion. It has sensitive components that need tender love, not crazy wild animal strength. Thank you. Robot girl with booty sharks. This <laughs> is God, no. Yo, she let me hit it because I solved her riddles three. When my hot wrestler wife leaves me. Oh, uh, uh, wrong pose. No, 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 stay in this space with me. Talk. What's going on? Just remember the other day a teen approached me holding a rapidly melting chunk of ice in his hand and asked me if I wanted to buy a limited edition pet rock. <laughs> That's good. I like that. There needs to be a name for the opposite of Blorbo. Like this is my Zinky. Every day I shoot him dead in my mind and feast on his corpse. You know, not to tempt Apollo and his magical gift of prophecy, but I get the sudden feeling this post might breach containment. Apollo, if you wish for my hand in marriage, get this post of 5k notes. This'll stop him. I know that says 18 hours ago, but I wonder if this was written before the idea of Glub Shido. A knife that gives you all of Clock Kent's superpowers! So, how I feel when I pick up a normal knife? So you mean to tell me I get all the powers of a mild mannered reporter of a daily metropolitan newspaper? Oh boy, Pulitzer Prize, here I come! No, no guys, Clock. Clock Kent's Superman. He's what?!